Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Ola and we have finally made it to episode 5 of Life is Strange, which is the final episode in this episodic series. Um, the last one was absolutely bananas and I'm just, I'm just ready to get into it just to see what happened. And we'll talk as the game, as game stuff happens. So let's just get right into it, shall we? Umbrella. I have so many questions. So many questions. Is Nathan not the bad guy we think he is? Or is he? Are him and Mr. Jefferson in cahoots together? Like, what is going on? I don't... pink nail polish? Were we wearing a pink nail polish? I actually don't remember. There's another person there and they're moving, but I don't see blue hair. Which is concerning, because where's Chloe? Can we rewind that chaotic mess that happened at the last episode? We're tied up in a chair. That is so messed up. So we're clearly in the dark room, which I was under the assumption was Nathan's, um, but we'll see. Chloe? What? Where? It's a dark room. Yuck. Oh, is it my turn? Do I move? Is anybody out there? Please help! It's all cement for a reason. <clears throat> Help! Somebody help me! Who's next to me? <gasps> Yo! Oh, shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad. But we warned her! Victoria! Wake up! She was syringed. Wake oh up. my goodness. <sighs> Shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too. Oh. This is so bad. This is so messed up. These straps are hurt. I'm trying to even like think back to <sighs> Finally, I'm free. Almost. How is that going to help? Can we pull that with my leggy? And then what? Is there an exacto knife situation? Ooh, we can look at shit. Oh man, I don't want to look at shit. So Jefferson poked us. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. So either Nathan is doing this like willingly, like helping out it seems, maybe like a weird teacher-student thing? I don't know. I- I hope Nathan isn't that broken. I don't know. I hate looking at myself like that. So young. You pay for this, Jefferson. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucked up. Mr. Jefferson. That's not good. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Is that all that's here? This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. So... 
Yeah. I hate looking at myself mm. like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Oh. Oh, focus on photo? Did I miss that previously? I, I must have. I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Use L and R. Oh, we're doing this this again. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I just got the willies. This angle highlights your purity. See, the slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Um... This is wild. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! He's such an angry Please, human. don't worry. We have all the time in the world. Look at the graphic you know, in the back. I knew. Looks familiar, you huh? You were special the second I saw your first... selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. I'm uncomfy. Uh, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, mm. along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Drink gloves. Oh, those eyes. Been doing this for a long time. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had well, to naturally. do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. <gasps> Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay, now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Oh, no. No. no, 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 no. Please stop poking me. You twisted fuck. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more... Fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take the shot.
There's the same similar graphic with the red burning up the past, indicating that we change something. Oh, this shit. is so disgusting. I can't that happened. So sick. I'm uncomfy. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay, wait. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. No. Oops. That picture isn't going to help. Oops, oops, oops. And I can't go through all that again. I won't. Okay, let's talk to Victoria. Let's see if she can speak now. Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. I have a plan. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How? Max, I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. See her again. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? i do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. Uh -huh. I promise. Max, I believe you. Man, that was heavy. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. I've warned you about Nathan. You went to Jefferson for help. Oh my fault. No, I know what Kate God, I'm sorry. And Please I forgive me. almost killed her. Shh. No, you didn't. Don't think about that now. This might work. Please work. Warning her fucked it, fucked it up. She's sure trying. Come on, focus. Come on now. Why oh, oh. is it so innocent? Ew, don't talk about me like that. I cannot believe what a perv. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but 
she doesn't understand our connection. What connection? You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. Lucky? My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. <laughs> and this is your yeah. last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever. And she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her. What did he say to her? Me. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. Oh. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Why would you do that? You used Nathan. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. Oh, you it happens often. Afraid on him. Teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your Took plans of him. Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. What? After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. 
You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Was it? Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Hmm? The shit. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. The instant camera is so appealing. Oh. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Oh my god, you pervy dude. Uh, did he do did you really kill Nathan? I don't know how far back okay. I'm supposed to go. Wait, please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, <laughs> but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think <laughs> You're so gross. Was a career high for me. He's too cocky. Can I have my diary? You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. Thank you. You can do so much Idiot. better. He has no clue. Oh my god. I can go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything. For good. Stop talking to me, you creepy motherfucker. Max. You feel like totally haunted by the images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of sad mother and children. Hmm. Any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of wow. desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. A wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. Kind of crazy. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for I cannot believe. expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I hate that I remember. It is so interesting how the game puts you back at the beginning. Where, like, we heard this little speech so a few times now, and it's weird that the game puts you back here to look at it with fresh eyes. The Daguerrean process. Oh. If you will. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. <laughs> she just hates him. Well, uh, okay then. This is the beginning. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the first. Artist. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. 
bastard. Journal time? I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. And Chloe is more focused now than before. I told her we have to keep moving forward no matter what. And I couldn't find Rachel on my own. That was enough. Now it's time to shine a light into the dark room. Chloe and I loaded up our coordinates and hit the road. We were both quiet yet excited. It's hard to explain the feeling. Even with all the horrible things happening, I found myself thinking that Chloe and I were part of some greater mystery that involved time, space, and all our fates. I've never had much faith, not the Kate Marsh kind, anyway, but I couldn't believe we were being set up for the doom after everything that's happened this week. But I wasn't prepared for the dark room. None of us were, yo. The coordinates led us to an old abandoned farm. <laughs> abandoned farm owned by the Prescott family. And I shouldn't have been surprised that it was actually housing a weird secure bunker that was filled with Prescott memorabilia and worse. That picture on the top right there, that's probably behind my camera. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but it's so creepy. <laughs> It's so creepy. So you're welcome. There was evil ground zero. This place was it. Cupboards filled with named red binders that confirmed our worst nightmares. Not that I had any clue that our amateur detective work would lead us to this kind of professional hell. When I saw the binder marked Victoria, my heart started pounding like a jackhammer. And I had a real clue about what was coming. I don't even... <laughs> little did we know. It's See, it's another example of we think we know what's going on, but we have no idea. Um, I don't even want to think about the images we saw of Kate Marsh posed unconscious with that motherfucker, Nathan Prescott. <clears throat> she did- that made me uncomfy. She did know the truth about what happened to her, even if she couldn't remember all the awful details. <sighs> and then Rachel Amber delica delicately composed photographs of her drugged and all over Nathan like some kind of sick goth couple. I couldn't bear to look at Chloe's face as she looked at the photos of her abused angel. I felt nauseated. All the hope I was feeding Chloe felt like vapor. And, and then we saw exactly where Nathan had taken his vicious layout with poor Rachel in the junkyard. We finally found Rachel, Amber, dead and buried. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm sorry, William. Fuck you, Arcadia Bay. High school should be the best years of your life. I've heard over and over from my parents and other experts. Fuck do they know? Tell that to Rachel, Amber, or Kate. I've never seen Chloe so cold and hard. She won't let go of the gun. Which, I'm pretty sure we didn't get. Um, Where did we get that gun? I think we got it from Nathan, right? Pretty sure. So I wonder if we didn't pick up the gun, if how different things would be. Ah, oh, it's the little things. So we have to find Nathan before Chloe kills him, and if that happens, it will be hard to rewind. But we're as close to the end of this nightmare as possible, so I have to block out those images of Kate Marsh and Rachel Ember that will be burned into my retinas forever. There's still a final secret to uncover. Nothing's going to stop us now, not even a goddamn tornado. Chloe and I pulled up to Blackwell's parking lot and arrived at the end of the world party. Oh, the irony. We had to get rid of poor Warren Fast, who wanted to bask in his alpha glory and hang out with Chloe and me. I can't put another one of my friends in danger. It's so bizarro to see all the students dressed up in expensive outfits or pre-Halloween costumes talking and laughing and smoking and drinking, as if there wasn't a serial killer going to the same party, or the town wasn't in eco-danger. As if to remind me of Arcadia Bay's ticking doomsday clock, I actually saw two moons in the sky over the horizon, or that's what it looked like briefly before the clouds rolled over. I squinted and actually rubbed my eyes like a dork just to make sure my iris wasn't foggy. Was this another sign or an environmental illusion? Other people saw it too, except Chloe didn't see anything besides vengeance. So she went into the gym looking for Nathan before I could catch up. Nathan doesn't know what he's running that he's running out of time too. No irony intended, we are. My first and last Vortex Club party. Flashing lights and DJ Doom, no comment, <laughs> spinning. In an alternate reality, I might have been at this party, standing in the corner shy and nervous, waiting for somebody to ask me to dance, but being terrified if that happened. And that would have been the limits of my problems. Now look at me. But I had to find Chloe first, then Nathan, before she shot him. No matter how evil I thought Victoria was, she actually, she's actually, she's actually just a terrible, terribly insecure person with talent, passion, and a tendency to be a cruel dick for no good reason. I have to see beyond our petty mean girl drama and assume she has a role to play in all of this too. So we talked like human beings and I warned her. <laughs> without specifics about Nathan. She believed me and it felt so warm to make a connection with my previous enemy. 
A sliver of light in all this darkness, let there be more. Which was a lesson to us that sometimes doing the right thing isn't the right thing, I guess. But like, I, I guess we have the gift of hindsight because we can make it present time, but still. October 11, I guess. I watched Chloe die again, which is a huge theme in this game, I'm noticing. She just keeps dying and we keep preventing that. This poor girl has been through literal hell. Oh my god, I just... Killed by my fi my favorite teacher. Why? Because we were stupid and let Jefferson trick us with a phony text. So we ended up back at the junkyard and fell right into his trap. We should have called the police the second we found Rachel. But I had gone along too far with Chloe. I keep thinking I'm invincible, but I'm a real everyday superhero. That I'm a real everyday superhero, but no. I'm just Max Caulfield. Maybe all my powers are an accident of... Or an accident of fate, or am I being punished like Chloe? What have we done to deserve all this pain? What did Rachel do? Kate. William. Then there's Mark Jefferson. I can't ever call him Mr. again. I'm still shocked that he turned out to be the one hiding behind the dark room. But I think, if I think back on those pieces of time, Jefferson has been dropping hints all along. It makes me sick to think how long he's been doing this for and to whom. The needle. I can still feel that needle in my skin. On my skin. Thank God I can't remember Jefferson posing me for the war- Oh, gross. Can't remember Jefferson posing me for the most of a sick session. Imagine all those other people who had to suffer through that horror, like Rachel and Kate. That made me determined to get out of that room, at least to stop him and save Chloe. I had to use my focus rewind on multiple photos so often that even I got confused. Worse still, I knew I was screwing around with various realities again, but I had no other choice. Chloe would not die in a junkyard next to Rachel Amber. There was no fucking way. I was going to let Jefferson be the last person I ever saw. It's hard to even imagine myself in that studio alone with Jefferson acting like that. Ugh. Everything was so neat and sterile, but it felt like the filthiest place on earth. If I didn't have this ability to bend time, what would I have done? What could I have done? Sometimes I felt removed, like I was looking at myself going through this hell, but thanks to Jefferson's class photo, he personally helped me to escape. I also feel so terrible that Victoria had to end up in here with me, just because I warned her about Nathan. I should have known that she would rush to Jefferson for protection instead, but to be fair, how the hell were we supposed to know that Jefferson was behind all of this? Instead, he kidnapped her and almost murdered her because of me. I'll never forget the way Jefferson looked at me, so cold and mean. I felt like I was on one of those awful true crime shows my mom binge watches. How does somebody become evil? He actually shot Chloe in the head, just like that. Motherfucker. I wish the police had taken Nathan in after I told Principal Wells that he drugged Kate. He might still be alive, and maybe he would have taken down Jefferson too. Oh, gosh. Unbelievable. Do we- we don't have any text, right? Oh my god, we're at the beginning. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Oh yeah. Don't- did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? Actually, interesting. Yeah. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. This diary literally saved my life. Yeah, no shit. Literally. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope Ooh. David's number is in there. Come on, let's call David. Maybe, oh my god, maybe David was like always on his ass and we thought david was this big asshole but really we should be able to track down david's number from the school pamphlet he was just like found you getting into the uh into the thick of it okay we got it we got it we got the number beautiful really nice little text aroni let's just do a nice little text warn david for once david i'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else we don't have any bad and blood take yet jefferson down fast You're after Rachel Amber, Mark Jefferson is guilty. It's basically- we'll read it, we'll read it, I'm just slow. Message deleted, you okay. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. We'll read it. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Okay, okay, okay. Um, text. Oh fuck, we deleted it. It was basically saying that Rachel Amber- the past within the past. Saying that he's guilty. Too hard. We don't need to read all this stuff. Should we talk it to Kate? It doesn't matter what happens to me. 
I have to save Chloe. And comfort Kate, All okay? Right, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So, so do a lot of people. At this point, that party happened already. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. I wonder if we... Because there was, like, photos on the walls. Like, I wonder... The 90s are over for you, asshole. Yeah, like, I'm really curious about all the stuff she says now, in hindsight. <sighs> if only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. But I better let... Not David, impressed yeah. anymore. Yeah, we're not impressed. Fuck that shit. Not impressed. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Yeah. Victoria. It's nice to know how you really feel. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my... Ozzy? Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck, but Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him, but he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. Huh. Ew, like, was she a victim? Now I wonder how many victims Jefferson has left behind in his career. Right? Like, it's just so... I'm not impressed. I don't care. No, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed about your books. Rachel, I'm sorry. The Rachel thing is kind of, just, that's just how it has to be, unfortunately. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. She has no clue. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. Do I want him to Mr. have my Jefferson? photo just in case something weird happens? We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Character development. I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> that was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? None Here's of your my fucking photograph business. for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very... Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, Don't be the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco oh, thank this you. Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. What? 
Did we save her? None of this even happened. thing is, is that Max remembers everything, right? This poor girl keeps changing time, and despite everyone around her not knowing any better, she remembers Whoa. everything. She's kind of messed up. Okay, did we fuck up? <laughs> okay. You're okay, Max. I was gonna leave. You're safe. The classroom. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Ah, <sighs> it's a tall order there, Max. We won. The, c the contest still happened. Local teacher arrested. Good work, David. David did the thing. Thank you. Look at us looking. I would wear this outfit. Holy shit, you rule, Max. I'm so proud of Chloe. my superstar. Oh, you're alive. This is just the start of your career. Oh, you're alive. She's alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> what next? <laughs> nah. I don't buy it. This fucks something else up. What that is? What? Like... Does the so big storm still happen? Between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Sand. <gasps> hot dog. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man hot in forever. Hot Dog Man. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. That's who that is. We were innocent. We finally get an explanation. Let's see, ten across six letters. How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? Um. Yep. I think. Uh, I think that's about it, huh? Principal Wells. Do we get to find out about Principal Wells drinking, or is he just gonna keep doing that? Get the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Two Moon Diner. Amid all the environmental chaos in our in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. So this still happened? But sooner or something? No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe that uh, imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco havoc. Blackwell Security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber, alle allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical, or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Wait, Lenny Frisco. Uh, nobody calls it Frisco, so please don't. Nobody calls it Frisco, <laughs> so please, please fasten don't. your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on That's the funny. ground and at the gate. 
thank you. Nobody. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. Did we get a prompt for Wells or is it just showing us? There we go. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. <laughs> it's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and the Prescotts, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Uh-oh. Oh, Christ. More frequent? Another nosebleed? Coming to the end of them, I Max, think. you're not just screwing around with time. I think her powers are gonna... I don't know. Be harder to use or something? Like we sh she's physically going through too much. We don't want this to kill her. She looks great though, I will say. The Zeitgeist Gallery. Well, we did make it this far. So... Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't <laughs> have to eat any caviar. No. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. <laughs> uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. Schmooze you know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. It's the most normal. <laughs> the most normal thing we've done all week. It's weird that that's just all Oh, wow, so Max. You did it. Somehow. I went there I am. Along with all the other winners. Well... I should say, artists instead. Mm-hmm. Ma'am? I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. Uh, I mean, San Francisco. Frisco, it's so ridiculous. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. Oh, it's the saddest chicken of all time. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Do we? Donations go straight into community arts programs. Okay, we should. Yes, correct. Newspaper. 
Is it the same one we saw on the plane? Well, no, because we're in San we're in Frisco wow, now. A Danny Lee article. Oh, do we know who that is? I left my art in San Francisco. Yes, I was born on a BART train, literally. It's a long, amazing story that I won't repeat here. Drinks are required for that one. Here's to mom. That might explain my obsessive love for the Bay Area and its outpost of artists and dissidents. Despite the rampant gentrification, artists and creators thrive regardless of socioeconomic pressures because that's what they do. Galleries such as the Zeitgeist and Milkovich Fashion have engaged with their diverse community and practiced what some patrons only preach. Artist, I gather. Look at all these leaflets. World building those. We Holy gotta read. shit. This flyer was designed just for Chloe. It is really cool. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. Yeah, you are. Oh, I used to do that. Holy, but what would I wear? Druid festival. Oh, that sounds fun. Oops, same one. My bad, my Holy bad, my shit. bad. This flyer was designed. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. The revolution will not be televised. Stop the startups. How many more shops and residents have to be driven out of their lifelong homes by the latest boutique cafe or over overpriced theme restaurant? The tech heads that have enslaved the city need a lesson in transgression. Damn. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Shambhala. And Lake Arcadia Bay. Some mysteries should stay that way. Spooky. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay all Area. Alright, let's leave the... <laughs> on Lake Arcadia Let's leave Bay. the front area now. Let's look at this art. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Pretentious alert. Oh shit. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. Thanks. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. Okay. I'll send you the details this week. You're not talking to me. That's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Wait, you are talking to me? You're just not looking at me because you said my name. Okay, that was only a little confusing. All right. I'm going to, yeah. Yep, yes. Magazine, yes. What's going on here? You having a hard time picking what to eat or pretending like you're this is your first time at the table? I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. All right, I'll leave them leave you to it. Yo, Wells, how's the caviar coming along? It was cool that Principal Wells came along. Yeah, true. He could have canceled our entries after what happened. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't Swimmingly. feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I'm lucky. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. Yeah. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. <laughs> Mark Jefferson was good <laughs> about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most funny. of all, me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson Noticed. had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money Always and alive. power can only protect you for so long. Arcadia Bay. So the what'll happen? is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. 
I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Okay. Oh, at least for this event. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Go eat, you silly goober. Champagne? Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. When do we get to see Chloe? Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, uh, very smart. I like how no one looks at me when they talk to me. It's, uh... Funny. These are people's aww, everyday heroes. There's this dog with this baby. How do these galleries afford to rent here? I don't know. Aww, there's some really powerful photos here. God, you must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Look at all these doors opening for us. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. I think it's a great entry. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. It looks Me great. Too. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. Super Max. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. It's a great photo. I've been I've been saying that. Oh my god again. Oh no. Oh shit. How is this the least crazy thing? Chloe! Hey, are you okay? Oh. We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, your nose. Jet lag. High altitude. Why does that look like. Anyways. Oh, Max, oh, you got the ringer off, idiot. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Please answer. Six. Holy shit, man, your vision. It's, it's true. You, you saw the tornado, it's coming. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe! Like... Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god, the tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Well, I don't know how to oh, fix a done. tornado. Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed. I don't know what to do. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. I don't think uh, looking around the gallery is gonna help, but maybe reading my journal will. I can't believe I was able to focus and rewind into my selfie all the way back to art class on Monday. I turned in my photo for the contest after I sent a text to David warning him about Jefferson. Woo! The only reason I haven't had a total meltdown is the fact that I have... I do have this incredible power. I have to use it right for once and maybe never again. It was weird to be in class with Jefferson like I wasn't just tortured by him in an underground bunker. I saw him for the first time as he is, a creepy, manipulative psychopath filled with bullshit. He uses art and passion to seduce people, but behind that there's nothing but hate and per perversion. I only pray that I can fix this timeline, not fuck it up. Max to the future, it feels like I finally made things right. Chloe's alive, David Matson became a real everyday hero by busting Jefferson and his dark room along with Nathan and his father. The Prescotts have lost control of Arcadia Bay. Now I'm the official everyday hero on my way to San Francisco with Principal Wells, who is a lot more funny and laid back when he's not stressing about Blackwell Academy. It's hard for me to, to, to totally re relax, but all those pieces of time seem to be falling into place. Not, re not really anymore. Oops. This is kind of cool. 
me when I get lost playing WoW. Just kidding, I don't play WoW. Me when I shrimp. No fucking way. Okay. Chloe can't right. die again. I have to save her. Feel the colors. Look at the bullish. I miss so much. I mean, I feel like there's a crisis going on. So I'm like, I want to look at everything. Everybody is a photographer now. But also, I'm feeling pressure to like move my ass. What is that? Oh, bad exposure, bad framing. This makes me feel bad so sad. I think I was back in so high school. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Go, Principal Wells. We gotta go. Can we go back home? Yeah, we're not even like there. We're not there. We're in fucking San Francisco. Principal Wells. Can we gotta go? I should go get him. He's stuck at the caviar. Please, no. I, I have to be in Arcadia Bay to help Chloe. Well, not here. Hold on. I have two ideas. Okay, I have one idea. It is to ma maybe we can focus on this photo to the day we took it, maybe? Yeah, okay. I just had to do a lap, make sure. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you need a perimeter sweep. I think I just about got- I thought I did like half of the gallery before it. Okay, well we went even farther back. Oh shit! Oh my head! We can't do this much more. We're running out of rewinds, What I think. is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. Ooh! What am I doing to time? What is ripping? It's fucking up. Um, my pr I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. <sighs> simple. Okay, don't enter the contest after all. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Right, so no contest. I wonder if there, there wasn't an option. Was there an option not to hand one in? So does that mean we didn't tell Madsen or something? Maybe not. Oh fuck! God no! Oh I'm back here again. Shit! I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus! It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. What the? It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. No. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh god, you're so yucky. Oh, what? I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her- Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. He didn't, did he? What the... Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Mm. Too bad you pissed away your gift. 
You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. Shit. He burned my diary. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. Mmm. We fucked up. I don't know anymore. Weird going on with you. No, there isn't. Mind your business. Oh shit, the storm is this the Whoa. storm? Did you see how crazy it is outside? Oh shit. Like I said. Something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max. It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. What is wrong with you? <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. Shit. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Okay, this is getting spooky because if something happens to me, then every everything's fucked. We need to Please. find a way to go back. Don't do this. Um. That looks like a big dose of whatever that is. Kick. Kick option. I promise. Combat. This final dose won't hurt. Let me kick him in the nuts. God damn it. What? Oh, oh yeah? What are you doing there? You piece of... Oh. Oh. David. <laughs> Shit. Oh. David showed up? No, David. No. Jesus. David is literally becoming my knight in shiny, shining armor. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I procrastinate? Can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. What are we doing? How can I deny that face? Oh, M G. The thing that tipped him off was something falling over. Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. That's a nice trait. David, come on. There we go. Hold it. What? Okay. That wasn't it. No way, Jefferson. Yeah. Hold it. What? Okay, so it wasn't music. Water? Maybe water because the when sink is in the other room. No more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Maybe he'll have his can back I, turned. Can I please ask you for one last request? Unless his oh. water. Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Or maybe the of lights. Course. Lights, but then David be wouldn't be able to see. Okay, the water's right there. Back clearly turned. We're wasting time. Drink slowly. He doesn't give a shit. Something feels different about this. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Oh 
he'll just go back what? and... Okay, so... David, watch out! Okay. How? How did you know that? Okay. No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Shit. Shit. Well, yeah. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Ah! There's too many things happening, and I couldn't focus on them. Jefferson, yeah, yeah. it's David, over. Kick that table. Yes, sir. I don't know. There was something over there as well. Doesn't doesn't matter. It's over. You are not going to stop oh. me. Distraction. Ha ha. <laughs> Come on, knock him out. One more. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Never turn your back on you crazy, right? David. Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. you Don't no thank me. You brought me here. But, like, everyone's Let's wrap dead. Up this son of a bitch first. You missed timeline, which we'll see how that plays out. <gasps> He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. I'm glad I stuck up for him. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. His Warren. files. Yes. I can use that picture he took of us. Right. Shit, no signal. Not right. There won't be any signal, period, because of a big storm coming in, right? Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Can we drive? We know how to do that. Oh. My. Goodness. Max, I'm sorry you had to be here. You... I better... David Madsen is on the case. He's still looking for evidence. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. You kind of suspected everybody. Yes. And this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescotts. I set my sights too wide. Lack of focus. I know the feeling. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going it's like on. like preying on him. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it, but he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you, and Chloe, and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while well, you had each other. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start. And steal your guns. I know it wasn't easy. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too. But you saw how that went. You tried. It's obvious you care. 
Even if your methods are... Fucked up. I know. I'm glad I stood up for you. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. Aww. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. About that. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh. I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll <sighs> stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> if I tell him the truth, he is going to lose it and he may he might fuck up this investigation. I don't know if we can go back further. Max's powers are catching up to her physically. David, um, she was pretty stressed out, so, um, she went to go, um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. I feel like shit. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air. Maybe and use my phone. Maybe it'll be fine. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. Let's ha let's let him have this I'm moment. Glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Oh, that was go rough. Now. You've seen enough of this room. I know, but I want to look around for a minute. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit Just all over. Looking at that makes me want to vomit. Yeah. He totally preyed on Nathan. Like Nathan was so sick, vulnerable, and, and clearly like mentally unwell. <sighs> I want to burn. I hate looking at me like that. I don't like it. Um, and had all these like father issues. Oh, that's Victoria's bracelet. <sighs> I bet Jefferson was going to use that to frame Where Nathan. Fucked Jefferson. And Jefferson just totally took advantage of that. That's fucked up. All this up. expensive gear just for sick bullshit. It's disgusting. You're disgusting. I can still feel those straps. No. Stop, Max. You're free. Damn. Yuck. Jefferson torched everything. All oh, right. Okay. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. Can I kick him? I'm glad that freak is tied up, but... I still feel like I'm in shock. Let's kick him in the nuts. So gross. I wonder if... Oops. No more fucking guns. Yeah, we're done with those. Every song you hear in jail will be torture. Jefferson. You'll never be free again. You're lucky the cops are getting you in one piece. Necklace. Chloe's oh, Chloe. right I'm in front of David. Oh, for the no. last time. There's no way I'm leaving your necklace here. God damn you. Everyday heroes. You won't be going, Jefferson, to any more shows. Were these just from before? Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation with Prescott cash. How could any No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. Unbelievable. He bought a He said he killed him, right? Vile. Look at him just going through. Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. And then How there's that. Could you? Oh, Jefferson had plenty of women who would have totally posed for him. But he didn't want to give his subjects a choice. Yuck. Yuck. Mm. Okay, Storm though. Do we get a do are we in it now? Is that what this means? Yes, I believe so. Ooh. 
Freedom. Freedom. Holy oh, shit. This storm is real. I need to find Warren. Not getting a signal in this. Yes. Oh, just kidding. Warren, can you hear me? <gasps> Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. Okay. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Okay, we're going to the two whales. Oh, the sky is turning. Look how quick the clouds are moving. There's a storm brewing. I told you, I trust Limbo have been warning you people for years that our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, goddammit, how do I pay all those taxes? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Yesterday? Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. He like knew he was <laughs> sorry. That is really fucking heartbreaking. but feel bad for the kid. It looks like some apocalyptic This whole town is just good. Holy shit. Goodness. One more picture. 
tons of fall no matter what. Oh no. Should we warn him? Best shot ever! Heavens! See that tornado? Get the hell out of here! Max, there's no way I could pass up these images. Just look at it! Dude! You can't take this a picture when you're dead. It's no, move your ass. Okay, if you insist. Ah. Whoa, Max! You do know things. I'm such an idiot. Only if you don't find a safe spot to take the blow over. Okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to help somebody else first. Is there you? Am I getting them all? Am I doing good? There's someone in the window. Is that Alyssa? Shit. Alyssa needs help again. Help me get down, Max! How? Shit. Alyssa needs help again. Yeah, I know. God damn it! I need help! I'm looking around. I'm coming. I had to take a wide turn. Please! Help me get down! I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help. I got you. Alyssa, are you okay? Let me help you down. Fuck that shit, Max. Whenever you show up, I have to get out of the way. So just then. Ah! No! Okay. We're not gonna help her. She doesn't want her she doesn't want my help, okay? She doesn't want my fucking help. Alyssa is stuck in that house. You know what? I have to get her out fast. We're gonna use this. I was just gonna leave her. <laughs> We're gonna use this instead. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Sayonara. Come on, Alyssa. Take my hand. Here I go. There we go. Good, good, good. You did it, Matt. Who else? Are you okay? Now I am. Out of here! Yeah. Alyssa, you go on. I have to help other people. This is bananas. Okay, there's a light over there. I saw a person. Is there someone under here? Or is it just like truck stuff? Maybe it's just truck stuff. Okay, there's someone over here. Run. We're running. Well, we're at least walking uh, swiftly. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, I can't stand seeing these bodies. But you can't be You're not dead! You're not! Okay, I'm missing something. We're looking around. Entrance. This place is fucked up. Oh no. How can I get out of here? Is this just a little shop? Damn. I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. Look. Don't fail me, fuse box. Use. Less. Okay, so we killed that guy. He's dead. Electrocuted. So don't do that. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Are you telling me? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. Let's go to the woods. Am I hearing that this man is not gonna move? We're not even gonna try? This makes me so sad. Cuz... I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. But what if we just try? Y'all... I'm doing this for the greater good. I need a photo. And it'll be fine. 
Why didn't you at least try? I'm sorry. I'll make it up. I'll make it up to you in the next life. You know what I could have done? I was gonna say, what if I just like never went in here? But I had to, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. <gasps> Two whales. Oh, it is in a sorry state. Sorry, I'll make up I'll make it up to you, I promise. There's whales on the road. I repeat, there are whales on the road. What do I do? What do I do? Use for what? Oh, we're diverting the- we're diverting it? Gotcha. I have to check on that homeless woman over here. Hold on. The cop? I'm sorry. Oh no. Officer Perry died before I could help him. We have to check on the homeless woman. It's too late now. Oh, she's not here. Okay. I hope she's in a shelter. I never even asked her name. Yeah, she was just labeled as homeless, and that's Evacuation. it. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not. At least a nobody's test. going to starve in here. Has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system is now in Max. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus! I am so glad to see you. Wonder sweet. what's causing. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely the storm now. I don't know if we can I stop it. Gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. I should have seen it coming. How do you see this coming? Unless you have a magical rewind power. So yeah. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. I hate to say I'm glad to see you. But I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah. Finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish That's I would. Right. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I started the storm? I have to go Did back I? in time. Jefferson already killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because... Because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. 
Nathan just needed mental help. And now he's dead. And Jefferson is done. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but... I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's... There's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Yeah. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and, and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and, and you've always treated me like a person. Not, not a beta nerd. I, I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. And I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And... I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Um... Oh my goodness. Oops. Hey, I wanted to look around a bit. I got excited. I'm sorry. Out there. My bad. We're not... I don't think... I really don't think Max likes Warren like that. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. I think they're just good mates. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Yep, that's me. Okay, I guess I- okay, so we can look around. Come on, Joyce. Focus on the people here. No more music. No more music. As long as I have my Pompadour with me. Aww. I'm sorry we shot you in the leg, Frank. I wish Frank was on our team. He's not a bad guy. You okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the <laughs> hole in my leg, not to mention the fact that I might die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I could see. You know what? I'm cool. Jesus. And I bet that thief Chloe and you didn't find Rachel. Right? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No. No way, she left town. She's gone. Now, how do you know, huh? How? All of our clues led us to my professor, Mark Jefferson. He had this creepy photo torture chamber. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk. Papadou hated him. You saw... You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... He killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill Too her? Too many questions. It doesn't matter. She deserves her peace now. Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. Frank was the least of her problem. She was problem. the one good thing in my life, Max. 
I knew she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just, just not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. <laughs> Oh, you're cool. I like being weird, okay? Let's talk to Joyce. Max, you... Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Mm -hmm. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? I'll find her. I. I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David are holed up someplace safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado well, on your own. Well, uh, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. And if he doesn't always show it. Well, I didn't mean to take David's side against you or Chloe. I know you try to see the good side in everybody, and David needs to try that too. But that's not important now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. Again. Joyce, you've gone through so much for Chloe and David. If you were my mom, I would be so proud. Oh, sweetie, thank you. But your parents should Aww. be prouder of you. Even David told me how tough he thinks you are. And he doesn't give out many compliments, as you know. Did he now? David is a real hero. I, I don't know what he's gone through in the war, I can imagine. And he even showed me how to find my own strength under extreme conditions. I am so glad to hear you say that, Max. I know he's not always an easy person to defend. <laughs> Most people only see him at his worst. You've seen him at his best. And that's the man I want in my life. Damn. Uh, well, should we do the photo? I can't seem to escape the two Or... Ways. Should we pick it up in the next episode? Probably. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave it right here. To Los Angeles too. Oh, of course you were. Of course. Let's look at Pompidou before we go and wrap it up. At least Frank still has Pompidou at his oh, side. Oh, I'm glad Pompidou's okay. Hopefully we can fix this mess somehow. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you want to come back, please subscribe. We'd love to have you back. To drive to Los Angeles too. Frank was just about to drive to LA. Of course he was. Uh, everyone be kind to yourselves. And I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao for now. Bye.